guys. Today we're going to talk about the Siege R Optimize, which is going to be our spear bulks, uh, armor, heavy vest for you know SWAT guys, entry guys, or if somebody just wants a little bit larger footprint on their armor. Uh, to fit this vest, again, you're going to take your issued spear bulks cut soft armor. If you are a medium spear bulks, that'll determine that you are a medium Siege R Optimized vest. The vest takes both hard and soft armor again, so if you're putting your soft armor in, the hard plate will go on the outside. There is a Velcro uh, securement strap on both the front and the rear plate pocket, so a variety of cuts, shapes, thicknesses uh, of your rifle plates will go in there in conjunction with or standalone uh, with your soft armor. As far as fitment of the vest, you can see the Spear Bokes is a two-piece uh, clamshell style armor so you will have some overlap there what we don't want to see is a ballistic window where the panels are actually gapped and separated allowing for a, a ballistic hole there from there the cummerbund on the siege is going to be just like the strand hog it's a velcro pull through style cummerbund you also notice on the siege internally there is a belly band just like your traditional duty style soft armor so, so you, you would secure the belly band which will keep your rear panel tight Snap your cummerbund in, you're locked in place with your vest. If you do need to tighten the cummerbund, you can pull that out and adjust the Velcro on the rear channel. Like we said, the front and the rear pockets are compatible with both hard and soft armor. On the exterior cummerbund, you can see it has a Velcro seam on the top, allowing for hard rifle plates to be tucked in the side. If you want to stow an extra radio, or excuse me, an extra magazine, radio, etc., you can put them in that exterior uh, cummerbund. Shoulder strap adjustment is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, there's a two inch tube on both the front and the rear attachment point of both shoulder straps. And we have a G hook ladder. So to adjust this, we'd simply take the shoulder strap off. As you can see, we would slide the G hook out of the ladder. In this case, we're going to shorten it up to tighten this vest, pull it through, re-secure the G hook, make sure it's good and snug, clip it in the front. Flip it in the rear, and now we have adjusted the height. Again, we want it right at the sternal notch, approximately one inch above the navel on the bottom. It's good and snug. It's not slopping around. That is a good fit on the CGR Optimize or Spear Bulk style platform. We're also going to do an additional video on the mast. So if you are building an up armored vest for entries, etc., and you do want to attach a mast, you can check that out. One thing to note though, on the siege platform, if you're running mast shoulders, you will replace the stock shoulder, uh, shoulder straps and pads with a webbing style shoulder and then your ballistic insert underneath it. Strand hog, they just simply add on to the base platform, the siege you replace them. So that was the CGR platform. If you want any more details on it, sizing, et cetera, check out the website. If you are going to run mass system on this platform, check out the mass video. And of course, if you have any questions, call us at the shop, CGR Optimize.